Hi friends, in this video we will try to understand what is the generic funk delegate and we will try to understand how to use this generic funk delegate with the support of anonymous methods, with the support of lambda expressions and also with the support of innumerable collections. Firstly, let's try to understand what is this generic funk delegate. Funk delegate, it encapsulates a method that has one parameter and returns a value of the type specified by the t result parameter the syntax for the func delegate would be something like public delegate t result func in t out t result and the t arguments where in t it is a contravariant parameter of the method that this delegate encapsulates out t result it is a covariant type of the written value of the method that this delegate encapsulates where the parameters we have is type t arc This is going to be the parameter of the method that this delegate encapsulates. And return value is going to be type t result. This is going to be the return value of the method that this delegate encapsulates the idea behind this fun delegated it is used to represent a function that accepts an input parameter and returns an output parameter what is covariance and contravariance in order to understand it you can check out my video on covariance and contravariance now let us try to understand with a simple example of using an explicit delegate to convert the given names to a upper string. So let's try to start with the demo. Let me open my visualstudio.net. I simply open my new project, console application. Fun demos. I just try to keep it in one folder. Now let's try to check it out with a simple example how to use a normal delegate to convert the given names to a string. So I just try to say. a delegate string convert method which try to take some particular input parameter. So this is going to be a delegate which can refer to the address of any method that accepts a string and returns a string. Now what I try to do here is within my main method I just try to say convert method something like say convert equal to 
I say uppercase string. So this is going to be a named method which we will be writing in order to convert this. So I try to take a string name for example I specify the name shaker and I try to use the delegate instance to call uppercase string method so I simply say convert of the name now once we have this let me try to have a public method so I say public static string the name of the named method I have is uppercase string which takes a string input as parameter which tries to return the uppercase of this value so we just have a simple method which is going to use now let me just try to execute this So I can observe it, I got a value called a shaker in uppercase. Now let's try to do the same example by using the generic function delegate instead of explicitly defining a new delegate and assigning a named method to it. Let's try to check out with an example. I try to add a new class using generic func I just try to give one I increase the font size for the visibility so this time what I try to do is instead of uh, explicitly defining Okay, instead of explicitly defining a delegate and use this, let me try to write it in this way. I already mentioned that func is a delegate that is going to take some input parameters and it is going to return some output parameters. So I try to specify this string comma string convert equal to uppercase string so what is this going to do is this is going to instantiate a delegate to reference uppercase string method And I just simply say string name I say shaker now let's use the delegate instance to call uppercase string method I simply say convert of name so the only thing what I try to do was I just try to update a method public static string uppercase string that is going to accept a string parameter and this is going to return name dot to upper now if you just try to observe it func is going to take an input parameter as well as an output parameter so this is going to automatically define a delegate that can refer to a method that accepts a input as string and returns an output as string now once I just specified this let me make this as a startup object And let me just try to execute this I should get the same result now not only that you can just try to convert the normal program like what we used to use with the named method and explicit delegate 
and convert those explicit delegates into the func like this. We can also take the support of anonymous methods and we can just use it. Means, say instead of writing an uppercase string method explicitly, we can also take the support of anonymous method and we can develop. So let's try to understand how to use the generic func delegate with the support of anonymous method. I try to add a class using anonymous method. Let me try to increase the font size for the visibility. I try to have a main method. I try to define a function. Let me convert the same previous program to use with the anonymous method for proper understanding. So I am trying to specify this is going to refer to a method that accepts a string and returns a string. The name of the delegate I call it as convert where I simply specify delegate string name. Where I just simply specify return name dot to upper. Sorry. So it's a quite a simple thing. So what is happening is now the generic function delegate is going to refer to an anonymous method which is returning as a string and accepting the string value. Now let me just try to specify string name. For example, this time I try to provide shaker strenivas and I say convert to the convert of I pass in the name. Sorry. I just specified it as u name. I don't want to give the same two names. Okay. Now let me just try to execute this and check out how this is going to work for us. So you can just observe it how this code is going to convert this thing. So the concept of functions are quite simple. The generic function delegate always refers to a method that accepts some parameter and returns some particular type of value. Now, this will become more powerful when we try to take the support of the generic function using the lambda expressions. In case if you don't have a proper idea on how to work with anonymous method and lambda expression, Please try to check out my video on converting the named methods to anonymous method and converting anonymous methods to lambda expressions. Now let's try to understand how to use the lambda expressions with the support of generic func delegate. For this let me add a new class. I give a name called it as using lambda. Let me increase the font size for the visibility. I try to define a function string string convert. I simply say s yes, go to s dot to upper. This is the lambda expression which I am trying to specify. Now you can just try to observe it once I am using a lambda expression. So how simple the code is going to become. I simply say string name shaker online and I say convert of name. The code becomes simple and easy to understand. So this time this func delegate is referencing to a lambda expression and this is going to use it and this type of lambda expression is one of the generic function delegates that makes it possible to pass the lambda expressions as a parameter without assigning it to a delegate now let's see the output 
for this thing let me make it as a startup object using lambda you get the same output the text has been converted into an uppercase now let us try to understand with one more simple example that declares a generic function delegate with a lambda expressions and i enumerable collection so that you will become perfect in using a func delegate now let me add a class Okay, so let me just try to have a simple function, for example, func string comma string. So the input parameter will be a string and it is going to return a string. So I simply say selector equal to some string goes to string dot to upper. Now what I try to do was assume that I just simply say string array of names equal to Shaker, Srinivas. I am trying to have array of names. I try to define I enumerable of type string names in uppercase, for example, equal to names dot select. And I just pass it to the selector. Now, when I just try to observe this particular select, you can see that the link expression is expecting a func delegate. I am just trying to pass the selector. The generic func delegate is very much used with the support of link expressions as well as link to entity expressions. Now, once I got this information. Let us try to say for each string name in names in uppercase, I try to display the name. So this particular code has to convert each and every name present within this collection to a uppercase. So let me just try to make this as a startup. And let me execute this thing. So you can just observe it as expected. All the names has been converted in a uppercase. So just try to understand. Func is going to be a delegate which can be used for referencing some methods that takes uh, input as well as return some output. Hope this video has provided enough idea. How to use generic func delegate in your programming. Happy coding.